Good morning, all. Today is and today is the most suitable day for officially inaugurating our new add-on course, Research and Publication Ethics, organized in association with Saint Stephen's College, Uravu, and Laurent Ed Education Research Associate. And we have the esteemed presence of Dr. Kuruvala Joseph, Outstanding Professor and Dean, Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology, Thiruvananthapuram. Let us begin our initiative by invoking the blessings of God Almighty. I call Dr. Ambali T. R. of the Department of Zoology for the prayer song. I will praise Lord. I will praise Lord. He is my strength and my soul. I will praise Lord. I will praise Lord. He is my strength and my soul. Oh Lord, teach me the way I should walk. Direct my steps by your word. Lead me to the road I dare Bless me to find strength in You. Search me, know my heart and my thoughts. Oh my. Amy, Amy, Amy. That was touching, Ambali. I invite Dr. Danny Matthew, IQSC coordinator, Alfonso College, Pala, for the welcome speech. Good morning to all. Respected Chief Guest, Dr. Kurula Joseph, Outstanding Professor and Dean, Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology, Trivandrum, the most respected dignitaries representing St. Stephen's College, Uravu, Alfonso College, Pala, and Law and Ed Research Associates, and my dear colleagues. Research is the distance between an idea and its realization. What we need is the right path to explore it. We are gathered here to make our path spotless. The internal quality assurance cell of Alfonso College Pala and St. Stephen's College Budavu, in association with Law and Ed Research Associates, organized an add-on course in research and publication ethics. And it's my privilege to welcome you all to this official inaugural function of this course. It said that leadership is the capacity to translate vision into reality. If so, Alfonso College is blessed with the perfect leader, our principal, who is persistent in materializing our noble visions. It's my pleasure to welcome Dr. Sister Regina Ma Joseph, principal, Alfonso College Pala, to this program. It's our honor to have Dr. Kuruvila Joseph, the outstanding professor and dean, Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology, Trivandrum, to enlighten us with his wise words. He has done postdoctoral at the Federal University of Paraiba, Brazil, and Swedish Institute of Composites, Sweden. He has three patents and more than 200 publications in international journals. He has more than 12,000 citations to his credit. Besides, he has published four academic books by international publishers and published more than 25 book chapters 
and has been invited as speaker for hundreds of national and international conferences. This is just a glimpse of what he has achieved so far. We are really honored with your presence, sir, and with utmost pleasure, I welcome Dr. Kurvila Joseph to this program. Next, I would like to welcome Professor Lali Siriak, Principal, St. Stephen's College, Uravu, whose profound enthusiasm and amity that made this association possible. I also extend a hearty welcome to Reverend Father Jins Nellikunne Barsa, St. Stephen's College, Uravur, a person who is always keen to initiate new ventures to widen the horizon of knowledge. It's a privilege to associate with you, and I welcome you wholeheartedly to this program. Unity is strength. But there is teamwork and collaboration. Wonderful things can be accomplished. This program is made possible by the enormous contributions of Dr. Jindo Michael, Director, Law and Research Associates. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome Dr. Jindo Michael to this program. Next, I would like to welcome Reverend Dr. Shaji John and Dr. Sister Minimal Matthew, our Vice Principals, and Reverend Dr. Jos Joseph, Barsa, Alfonsa College, Pala, the constant pillars of our support. I also extend a warm welcome to Lieutenant J. Skurian, IQAC coordinator, St. Stephen's College, Uravu, who has been supportive and encouraging in making this event a reality. I also welcome Sri Jasmudin S., Ms. Rega Matthew, and Ms. Sandhya Sebastian, the course coordinators of this program. It said that give the light and people will find the way. Dear colleagues, hope this program gives you the light to choose your paths. I realize that it's your passion for the quest of knowledge which is driving force of your participation. And I'm privileged to welcome all of you to this inaugural function. Welcoming all once again, I wish you all a fruitful time ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Dani. I respectfully invite Dr. Sister Regina Majosa, Principal Alfonso College Pala for the presidential address. Most respected, Dr. Kurivala Joseph, sir, Outstanding Professor and Dean, IEST Trivandavaram, Professor Lali K. Suryak, Principal, St. Stephen's College, Uravur, our Vice Principals, Reverend Dr. Shaji John, Reverend Dr. Sister Minimal Matthew, our Bersa, Reverend Dr. Jos Joseph, Dr. Ma Dani Matthew M., IQC Coordinator, Alfonso College, Pala, Lieutenant J. Skurian, IQC Coordinator, St. Stephen's College, Uravur, respected teachers. The cooperation between two colleges is a beautiful academic idea, which we two colleges, St. Stephen's College, Uravur, and Alfalsa College, Pala, are putting into a concrete reality by organizing this inaugural ceremony and webinar related to an add-on course program, Research and Publication Ethics, related to to create awareness about the publication ethics and publication misconducts. Today, opportunities are opportunities for higher education are ample. So many add-on courses are available for students and teachers who seek newer heights of knowledge. I am very happy to be a part of this joint venture of our two sister colleges. I wish all the best for all those who participate in this wonderful webinar. New branch of knowledge is independent or autonomous. They are interrelated. A student who studies economics should know something about mathematics and statistics and physics. Otherwise, we will be outdated. Add-on courses help us to overcome the limitations of one branch of science with the information from other branches of knowledge. Our knowledge should be multidimensional with the new era, era of knowledge explosion. Therefore, I request all the teachers to join one or other add-on courses during this academic year and make ourselves up to date. Thank you so much. Thank you, sister. It's my privilege to invite Dr. Kurvala Joseph, Outstanding Professor and Dean, Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology, Tirumanandavaram, 
for the inauguration of the course and the inaugural address. Good morning. I think I am audible. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Dr. Sister Regina Ma Joseph, Principal Alfonso College, Palais. Professor Ladi Kesriak, Principal St. Stephen's College, Virabu. Father Jeans Nelikatil Bersar, St. Stephen's College, Virabu. Mr. Jinto Michael. Dr. Danny Matthew. Jace, Lieutenant Jace Korean, faculty members of Alfonso College and uh, St. Stephen's College, Urubu, and uh, my dear students. Very good morning to all. First of all, uh, let me extend my sincere thanks and gratitude to the organizers for inviting me to deliver this in our letters. I'm really happy that uh, two colleges are joining together to organize this important add-on course on research and publication ethics. It's a very, very important topic. I understood that uh, 24 uh, hours or topics they are going to cover. It's a very good initiative. I wish to congratulate and uh, appreciate the organizers and uh, the college management. If you look back, the Indian higher education, we are facing serious issues. Because our higher education, especially the post-graduation and research, we all are doing research. I used to tell, we all are doing research for three or four Ps. One thing, one P is for a PhD title, a degree. Another P is for publishing some papers. Another P is for getting a position. Another P is for getting a promotion and things like that. So 70% of our research work are aimed only for these four Ps. Ultimately, if you closely look the research quality, high quality research work and publication is lacking. We have, but if we compare with some of the advanced countries, We have excellent research group who are publishing quality research purpose. They are doing quality research, but at the same time, a major chunk of our community is simply doing research for research. It's a, it's a very serious uh, issue. In the year 2003, the famous astrophysicist, Professor Jayant Narlikar, wrote a book, The Scientific Age. So in that book, he listed 10 top achievements of Indian science and technology in the 20th century. There are five before independence and five after independence. Before independence, he listed five names Ramanujam, even today, the product of his mathematical genesis are still researched on. Mehan Saha, his ionization equation played a vital role in stellar astrophysics. Yes, and Bose, his work on particle statistics was path-breaking. And our own Raman, his Raman effect and Raman Spectrometer is one of the important tools in all material science and all, all modern research. And the father of molecular biophysics, G.N. Ramachandra. So he narrated five names and their, their contribution 
Then after independence, we don't have any such name. After independence, India developed a lot of laboratories with world-class facilities. Our universities and colleges are having excellent research facilities. Our uh, teachers are uh, well paid off, but we don't have any, after independence, no Raman, no Megan Safa or no GN Terminator. Why? It's a very, very important question he asked. Because as I told you earlier, our research focus is only for those peace, for peace. We are not really curious. We are not doing research with the curiosity. We are not doing research with passion. We are not enjoying the research. So my dear friends, we should have curiosity and passion in doing a research. What is curiosity? I used to ask students, what is curiosity? Are you really curious when you are doing a in a practical in the laboratory? Are you really curious when you are reading a book? Are you really curious when you are attending a seminar or a class? Or you are simply attending or doing the practical or the class or reading a book just to get some marks or getting a degree. That is what is happening. People are not curious. My dear friends, that curiosity is a driving force for, for, for any innovation. If you, if, you, if you look back, all innovations and discoveries, I could say 70 to 80% of the discoveries and innovations happen because of the curiosity. People who are really curious to know the secret of nature. So that curiosity we need to develop. When you say a research, what is research? Research is actually an attitude. It's an experience. One can say it's a careful, critical inquiry. It, it, it can be a method of critical thinking and a systemized effort to gain new knowledge. And finally, we can say voyage of discovery from known to unknown. Impossible to possible. And this is what is called research. Research is not an accidental discovery. Accidental discovery may occur in structural research process, but research is not accidental discovery. Research is not simply data collection. Data collection is only an intermediate step to gain reliable knowledge. People are thinking that data collection and uh, putting some statistics, that is a search. No. Anybody can do that. Research is not searching out published research, research in libraries or internet. That's only a, the beginning of research. We need to do that to find out the gap areas. But simply just reviewing literature is not research. What is research? The research is searching for explanation phenomena with a lot of questions. What, how, why things occur? Why we are doing research, as I mentioned, most of us are doing research to get a degree, so-called PhD degree, so that I will be known as doctor so-and-so, to gain respectability, to face a challenge, are you doing research to face a challenge? Are you doing research to solve a problem? Or are you doing research to get intellectual joy? These are the questions each researcher has to ask. Very, very important. So if you, if you, if you are talking about quality research, 
there are few components most important important component in a quality research is to identify the right problem that's the best, that's the most important thing if you can identify the right problem i could say 80% of your research work is over it's very very difficult most of us are doing mediocre research by copying or doing something changing something and doing some research but if you are doing quality research to identify the real research problem you got to spend months and months maybe years then only you will get a real research problem second most important thing in a research work is the interpretation and analysis of the result interpretation and analysis of the result very very important many of time i have seen researchers mostly students they make they are interested in doing things but they are not interested in interpreting the result the systematic analysis of the result they are not interested they are not they don't want to spend time because that is very, very important because analysis interpretation is very very difficult we where you need a lot of background reading and things like that you should have a thorough understanding of the theory the basics and third important component of a quality research is the publication of the research publication of the research the right choose the right journal and publish it and how to publish today this program is in association with the dorant ed they are publishing a research and publishing company if i am correct so writing a paper without copying keeping all the ticks is lacking they may be a good researcher but writing quality papers very very difficult we should teach our students we should we should teach all researchers how to interpret the result how to write quality papers with all moral and ethical values so we thought ethics we cannot do quality research my dear friends when you are talking about the research process creativity is very very important a quality research requires imagination initiative intuition and curiosity i just want to conclude with one statement when i used to deliver lectures in various schools and colleges i used to ask students what is the real goal in life what is the real goal in life real goal in life they may say i want to get a degree i want to get a job then after that after getting a job what is your goal i want to have a, a happy comfortable life agreed i agreed all of us are uh, uh, working for that but in my view real god in life is something different for example my god in life is to become a professor in a university or a scientist in a research institute or a doctor or an engineer so by 25 or 20, 30 years i could achieve that goal so 30 years i am going to achieve that goal then after 30 years what is my goal already i achieved my goal then as i mentioned i am going to look for a happy and comfortable life i may be focused on 
building a house, buying a car, and uh, something like that. My dear friends, this is not the real goal in life. Millions and billions of people, doctors, engineers, teachers, advocates, all lived in this beautiful world and died. How many of them are remembered? Today we mentioned about Ramanujam. Today we mentioned about uh, Raman and all. So how many of them are remembered? I used to tell my students, the real call in life is something different. After my time, after my death, how I am going to be remembered? This is very, very important. If you type your name in the Google or any other search engine, how many times your name appears? How many hits are about your contribution? That is going to be remembered forever. That is very, very important. That means you are blessed with a lot of potentials and talents. If you are not going to utilize it effectively till you die, not after getting a job, I, I, I can simply concentrate coming and going uh, and the, doing the job. No, 24 into 7 is not sufficient to fulfill the real God in life. My dear friends, this is very, very important. Otherwise, you will get a job, you will work for another 30 years and live for another 20 or 30 years and one day you have to say goodbye to this beautiful world. That day, when you say goodbye, your name is going to disappear from this world. Nobody is going to remember. Nobody is going to reflect your name. Maybe you are going to be remembered maybe for 16 days or 41 days or maybe a one year. And here after that, you are going to be totally disappear. But if you can contribute substantially to the world, you will be remembered forever. Your contribution will be remembered forever. That is very, very important. I used to tell students, each human being is just like a rocket. India is having two workhorses, PSLV and GSLV. GSLV Mark III is 650 tons with a height of 17 storied building. Why? This is 650 tons rocket just to carry three tons or four tons satellite to the orbit. In order to carry a, a, a satellite of three tons or four tons, the rocket is having a weight of 600 tons. If we closely look at the weight of the rocket, one can see 95% of the, the weight of the rocket is its propellants the fuel to take the, the satellite to the outer space. What is a satellite? Satellite, the, 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 so idea is to put the satellite in the right orbit. Imagine that each human being is a rocket. What is a propellant in you? My dear friends, knowledge is a propellant in a wide perspective, knowledge is a propellant. What is a satellite? Satellite is the goal I mentioned. The goal, not to get a job, not to buy a car, not to buy a, buy a house. Real goal is I should be remembered forever. That is a real goal. After my time, I should be remembered. My contribution should be remembered. If that's the case, rocket is, ha rocket is having 600 tons plus fuel. I have to gather knowledge. I want to fill knowledge as propellant. My dear friends, whenever you are getting opportunities, when you are doing a practical, when you are attending a class, when you are attending a seminar, when you are doing uh, reading a book, all these are the avenues where you can gather knowledge. Try to grab it. Try to, try, try to fill it, fill it, so that your rocket will fly high. Your rocket can put the satellite in the right orbit and it will orbit forever. As per Kepler's law, once you put this orbit, the satellite in the right orbit, it will, it will, it, it will orbit forever. 
my dear friends try to put your own god the real god in life try to work hard 24 into 7 so that when you say goodbye to this world your contribution your name will be remembered forever i wish all the best for this course i also of declared that officially the course is inaugurated once again thank you all for listening and also for inviting me to inaugurate this program thank you so much thank you professor you gave us some serious thoughts and it was a pleasure hearing you thank you very much sir thank you now i invite lieutenant jay kurian iqsc coordinator St. Stephen's College, Urawu, for the felicitation. Hello. Uh, good morning, respected Dr. Sister Regina Ma Joseph, and respected Professor uh, Kurvila Joseph, and our uh, Principal Professor Ali K. Sriyak, and our Bazar Jins Nelly Gatil, and all the respected teachers and my dear friends. Ulur Sensibens College, Pala Alfonso College, Tamil Nadu, Walare, Sakta Maya, or Adma Bandha Jinda, Pradivalna Mandavana Mana, Inna E Course, Ibade, Ulkarna Jee Patta. Research ne peti, Namal Yidu Sangali, Dharaalam Kerdu Nunda, Pala Unnada Vektiyalam, Vyaja Maya Research Degree or Okay Vanda Ki, Enola Fatravartha Gada. ഒക്കെ വരുന്ന ഒരു സമയമാണ് ഇപ്പോൾ നമ്മുടെ ചുറ്റും കാണുന്നത് അപ്പൊ അങ്ങനെ പശ്ചാത്തലത്തിൽ റിസേർച്ചിന്റെ എത്തിക്സിനെ പറ്റി എല്ലാവരും അറിഞ്ഞിരിക്കേണ്ടത് വളരെ അത്യാവശ്യമാണ് രണ്ടു കൊല്ലം മുമ്പാണ് യു ജി സി എല്ലാ റിസർച്ച് സ്കോളേഴ്സിനും റിസേർച്ച് ആൻഡ് പബ്ലിക്കേഷൻ എത്തിക്സ് എന്നുള്ള വിഷയം ഒരു പേപ്പർ പാസ്സാവണം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ് ഒരു സർക്കുലർ അയക്കുകയും അതിന്റെ ഫലമായിട്ട് നമ്മുടെ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി ഉൾപ്പെടെ എല്ലാ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റികളും കോഴ്സ് വർക്കിന്റെ ഒരു പാർട്ട് ഫോർ പേപ്പർ ആയിട്ട് അത് ഇൻക്ലൂഡ് ചെയ്യുകയും ചെയ്തു എന്നിട്ടും ഈ റിസർച്ച് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ സീരിയസ് ആയിട്ട് വരുന്ന പല വ്യക്തികളും ജനുവിൻ അല്ലാത്ത ജേണലിൽ ധാരാളം പബ്ലിക്കേഷൻസ് വരുന്നതായിട്ട് യു ജി എസ് ശ്രദ്ധയിൽ വീണ്ടും വീണ്ടും പെടുകയുണ്ടായി അതേ തുടർച്ചയെന്നോണമാണ് യു ജി എസ് നിരന്തരമായിട്ട് റിസർച്ച് എത്തിക്സിനെ പറ്റി ഉള്ള ഒരു സർക്കുലേഴ്സ് ഒക്കെ നിരന്തരമായിട്ട് ഇറക്കിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് ഇപ്പൊ ഈ ഒരു പശ്ചാത്തലത്തിൽ ബുഴൂർ സെൻസിമെൻസ് കോളേജിന്റെയും അൽഫോൺസ കോളേജ് പാലയുടെയും നേതൃത്വം നടക്കുന്ന ഈ ആരംഭിച്ചിരിക്കുന്ന ഈ സർട്ടിഫിക്കറ്റ് കോഴ്സ് റിസർച്ചിന്റെ ആ പരിഭാവനത ഉയർത്തി പിടിക്കുവാൻ തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും ഒരു കാരണമാവും എന്ന് എനിക്ക് ഉറപ്പുണ്ട് കാരണം അതിന് നേതൃത്വം കൊടുക്കുന്നത് വളരെ പ്രഗത്ഭ മതികളായ പ്രൊഫസർമാരും അധ്യാപകരും റിസർച്ച് അതിൽ ധാരാളം എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് ഉള്ള വ്യക്തികളുമാണ് കുറച്ചു മുമ്പ് പ്രസംഗത്തിൽ ഡോക്ടർ കുരുവിള ജോസഫ് സൂചിപ്പിച്ചതുപോലെ റിസർച്ച് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നമ്മുടെ എല്ലാവരിലും ഉറങ്ങി കിടക്കുന്ന ഒന്നാണ് പക്ഷെ അത് നമ്മൾ പലപ്പോഴും ഒരു സ്ഥാനമാനങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടിയോ സാമ്പത്തിക ലാഭത്തിന് വേണ്ടിയോ അത് ഉയർത്തി പിടിക്കുമ്പോഴാണ് അത് അപകടകാരി ആവുന്നത് അപ്പൊ നമ്മുടെ ഈ കോഴ്സ് കൊണ്ട് ഉദ്ദേശിക്കുന്നത് ഈ കോഴ്സിൽ പങ്കെടുക്കുന്ന റിസർച്ച് സ്കോളേഴ്സിന് റിസർച്ചിനെ പറ്റി ഒരു നല്ല അവഗാഹം ഉണ്ടാക്കിയെടുക്കുക എന്നത് മാത്രമല്ല നമ്മുടെ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റിയുടെ പാർട്ട് ഫോർ പേപ്പർ പാസ്സാവുക എന്നുള്ള ഒരു ടാർഗറ്റ് ഈ കോഴ്സിൽ പങ്കെടുക്കുന്ന അധ്യാപകർക്ക് ഒഴിവാക്കി തരാനുള്ള ഒരു ശ്രമം കൂടിയാണ് നമ്മൾ നടക്കുന്നത് അതിന് വേണ്ടി ഒരു റിക്വസ്റ്റ് നമ്മൾ ഉടനെ യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി കൊടുക്കുന്നതായിരിക്കും തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും യൂണിവേഴ്സിറ്റി അത് അനുഭാവപൂർവ്വം പരിഗണിക്കുമെന്ന് എനിക്ക് ഉറപ്പുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ ഈ കോഴ്സ് നടത്തുവാനായിട്ട് മുൻകൈ എടുത്ത രണ്ട് കോളേജിലെയും മാനേജർമാർക്കും അതുപോലെ പ്രിൻസിപ്പൽമാർക്കും അതോടൊപ്പം രണ്ട് കോളേജിലെയും ലൈബ്രേറിയന്മാർക്കും എല്ലാവിധ ആശംസകളും നേരുന്നു ഇതിൽ പങ്കെടുക്കുന്ന എല്ലാ അധ്യാപകരും സമൂഹത്തിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് ധാരാളം ഗവേഷണങ്ങൾ നടത്തുകയും തങ്ങൾ പഠിച്ച അറിവുകൾ ആ സമൂഹത്തിന് തിരിച്ച് പങ്കുവെച്ചു കൊടുക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുമ്പോഴാണ് ഈ കോഴ്സ് കൊണ്ട് അതിന്റെ ഫലപ്രാപ്തി നൂറ് ശതമാനത്തിൽ എത്തുക എന്നുള്ളത് അപ്പൊ ഈ കോഴ്സിന് മുൻകൈ എടുത്ത രണ്ട് കോളേജ് മാനേജ്മെന്റിനും അത് ലൈബ്രറിമാർക്കും അതുപോലെ ഇതിന് പിന്തുണ കൊടുത്ത ലൂർ ആൻഡ് ഏത് പബ്ലിക്കേഷൻസിനും പ്രത്യേകമായ ആശംസകൾ നേരുന്നു ഞങ്ങളുടെ കോളേജ് ലൈബ്രറി ജാസിം സാറിനും സെന്റ് തോമസ് കോളേജ് അൽഫോൺസ കോളേജിലെ ലൈബ്രറിനും അവിടുത്തെ ഐ ക്യു സി കോർഡിനേറ്റർക്കും അവിടുത്തെ എല്ലാ അധ്യാപകർക്കും അതുപോലെ ഉഴുവോളം എല്ലാ അധ്യാപകർക്കും ഈ ഒരു കോഴ്സ് കൊണ്ട് 
എല്ലാവിധ വിജയങ്ങളും ഉണ്ടാകട്ടെ എന്ന് ആശംസിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് നിർത്തുന്നു നന്ദി നമസ്കാരം താങ്ക് യു Now I invite Sri Jinto Michael, Director, Law and Ed Research Associates, for the felicitation. Thank you. Uh, Professor Dr. Kurevala Joseph, Outstanding Professor and Dean, Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology, Trivandrum. Uh, Dr. Sister Regina Amal Joseph, Principal Alfonso College Pala, Prof. Alali Kesuriyak, Principal St. Stephen's College Parabu, uh, the coordinators, agency coordinators of both colleges, Dr. Dani Mathieu and Lieutenant J.S. Korea. Uh, Laura Andrid is uh, really appreciated. Uh, We appreciate the effort taken by the faculty members of uh, Alphonse College and uh, St. Stephen's College uh, to run a more course in research and publication ethics. And I'm glad to offer all support for the uh, successful implementation of the course. And it is one of uh, our focus areas. And uh, uh, we are committed to assist scholars in uh, conducting quality research and publication. And I use this opportunity to uh, extend my gratitude on behalf of uh, Laura Andrid uh, to the principals of the Fostering Institutions, uh, Dr. Sister Rajanama and uh, Professor Lali Kisuriya. Then uh, Reverend Dr. Shaji John, Vice Principal of Alphonse College, Pada. Uh, Reverend Jim Snellikatil, Bursar of St. Stephen's College, Sorabu. Uh, then Dr. Dani Matthew and Dr. Nijis Kurian, AQC coordinators. And my fellow coordinators of uh, this course, uh, Sri Jasim Udinas, librarian of uh, St. Stephen's College, Sorabu. And Sri Madhira Ekha Matthew, assistant professor, Department of Physics, at Francis College, Pala. And Sri Madhira Sandhya Sebastian, CEO of Laura Andrit, uh, for their support for this program. And uh, the course focuses on the uh, basics of uh, philosophy of science and ethics, uh, research integrity, and uh, publication ethics. And the objective of the course is to create awareness about uh, publication ethics and uh, publication misconduct. And I hope uh, this course will add to your research skills and uh, writing skills as well. Uh, all the very best uh, to the participants. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's time to add the note of appreciation and thanks. I invite Ms. Diana Elizabeth Jost, Department of Chemistry, Alfonso College, Pala, to propose the vote of thanks. Respected Chief Guns, Dr. Kurula Joseph, Outstanding Professor and Dean, Indian Institute of Space, Science and Technology, Trivandrum, the most respected dignitaries representing St. Stephen's College, Urugu, Alphonse College, Pala, and Lauren Ed's Research Associates, and my dear participants. Research is creative and systematic work undertaken to increase the stock of knowledge. Research and publication ethics are closely connected as each new study leads to new finding which on publication enter the public domain. It's a great attempt to organize this add-on course in research and publication ethics by internal quality cell of Alphonse College, Pala, and St. Stephen's College, Urugu, in association with Lord and Ed Research Associates. I consider It's a great privilege to propose a vote of thanks to all the dignitaries who have witnessed it as a successful event. Let me first of all start by giving glory to the Almighty God for making today's occasion a resounding success. I take this opportunity to express our sincere gratitude to our principal, Reverend Dr. Sister Regina Ma Joseph, 
the dynamic and flexible person, person in all academic matters progressing this occasion. I express my deep gratitude to our most distinguished chief guest, Dr. Kudibula Joseph, the outstanding professor and dean Indian Institute of Space Research and Technology, Trivandrum, to enlighten us with his wise words. We are extremely grateful to you, your attention, sir. I would like to thank Professor Lali Siriek, Principal St. Stephen's College, Urugu, who showed great pleasure that made this, okay, made this association possible. I also extend our sincere gratitude to Dr. Jindo Michael, Director, Lord and Ed Research Associates. Next, I express my gratitude towards Reverend Dr. Shaji Jo, and Dr. Sister uh, Minimal Matthew, Vice Principal, and Reverend Dr. Jose Joseph Pulabili, Bassar, Alphonse College Pala, the constant pillars of our support. Also, I would like to thank Lieutenant J. S. Kurian IQC Coordinator, St. Stephen's College Urugu, and Dr. Danny Matthew, IQC Coordinator, Alphonse College Pala, and Sri Jansudi. Uh, Ms. Rekha Matthew and Ms. Santhya Sebastian, the course coordinators of this program. Once again, thank you all. Have a nice day. Thank you, Diana. We have come to the end of the program. Thank you all for your participation. <laughs>